not a cat person, but if you put any kind of animal and put the word cafe after it, I'm gonna check it out. Cats are quite popular here in the Shinjuku neighborhood of Tokyo because we waited in a line on the stairs. Once enough room opened up, I went to an automated kiosk and started the check-in process. Basically told me not to chase or yell at the cats and gave me some instructions about what to do with my stuff before I went in. Thank you. All right. Got it. Start time's important because they charge you for how much time you spent in there. However, the drinks are free. Slippers on and free drink in hand, it was time to enter the cat kingdom. Once inside, there's a gaming area, a lounge area with lounges to, well, lounge on, and of course, an office space. It's just like any other cafe, except it's got cats. Lots and lots of cats. There are leaping cats, napping cats, fighting cats, cats dressed as minions for some reason. Cats that are into feet. No judgment. And did I mention napping cats? There's a refrigerator full of frozen treats that the cats go absolutely bonkers for. And on top of that refrigerator, you guessed it, a cat. I tried to play with a cat, but it could either sense I was a dog person or just wasn't into this floppy dog toy I picked. Okay, which of your coworkers do you hate the most? Tabitha, I knew it. After about an hour, I'd had my fill of cats, so I put my slippers in the automatic slipper okay. disposal, because Japan, and checked out. The total was 2,000 yen, or about 13 bucks. But remember, you get free drinks and unlimited cat petting. But the most essential item at checkout was, of course, the hair roller. Well, I am certainly more of a cat person after visiting the cat cafe. Oh. Cafe, and I would be remiss if I didn't visit their feathered friends, the owls, the owl cafe. You had to reserve a specific time slot online and fill out this questionnaire before arriving. I chose I want to fit in with an owl because I only dream of them every other day. Got some homework before going in. While it does have chairs and tables, there's no food or drink at this cafe. It's all about the owls. After a quick demonstration on how to safely pet the owls, it was owl time. Gonna hold one. Big deal, just me and Gorilla hanging out. What do you think, Gorilla? Gorilla, do you feel like we're being watched? I feel like we're being watched. Yeah. Bye, Gorilla. Thank <laughs> you. I get to choose another one but I don't know who to choose. They're all adorable. <laughs> this dude clearly did not want to be held, so I kept my distance. I'm just not that into Harry Potter. Sorry, fellas. This one's straight up licking its own butt. That's a pass. Okay. All right, I decided on Mr. Ostrich. I had one of the largest ones in Gorilla, and Mr. Ostrich is one of the smallest ones. Mr. Ostrich was a little too excited that I was holding him. Mr. Ostrich just puked on me. <laughs> and yes, ostrich pukes are adorable. <laughs> After Mr. Ostrich waved goodbye, I started getting dirty looks from the staff. 
the kind of looks you get when you're the last person eating at a restaurant at the end of the night. And I knew it was time to go. But not before getting a special memory with Gorilla. <laughs> I hate to leave, but I have to. What an incredible experience, up close and personal, with the cutest owls in the world. What type of animal cafe will I visit next? Who knows? My thirst for animal cafes could not be quenched in Tokyo. So I've come south to Kyoto to hang out with even more exotic animals. Next up on the animal cafe parade, micro pigs. We're not gonna eat them, we're gonna pet them. The pig cafe lobby has a real visiting prison vibe. Check in anything that could be a weapon, get a visitor's badge. And before I reach the top of the stairs, I could hear why. The drinks are free, but seem more hazardous than refreshing. I have one goal here, make it out alive. Blanket to prevent pigs from drooling on me. No drooling. I'm so sorry I had bacon for breakfast. I won't have bacon for a whole week. While I was happy to have a pig on my lap, other guests were more popular. Some guests just have it. Hey, don't fight over me, come on. The mood was taking a turn, so I figured I'd better get out of there before the place went full animal farm. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> wow. Pig Cafe was a lot more chaotic than I was expecting. That was like a prison riot. So cute, though. Oh yeah, it's happening. Last but not least, an otter cafe. Same deal as the other cafes with an automatic payment system. Then you check out the otter roster and prepare to meet these furry little swimmers. Full disclosure, I was so excited to meet the otters that I accidentally switched the camera to slow-mo mode for the grand entrance shot but that gives me ample time to explain how this place works. They've dispensed with the cafe facade here, which makes sense because most cafes don't have a giant swimming tank, but there's no tables, there's no chairs. You just sit on the floor and play with otters. Here's a few things I learned about otters while I was there. They prefer to drink while lying on their backs in the most adorable way possible. They love playing with toys, especially toys that move around so they can chase them. Their preferred method of receiving treats is by hand, which I was happy to indulge, but they are also able to open a jewelry case if there are treats inside. Otters would make terrific thieves. They like swim in laps. Otters can yawn, apparently. They also love performing the latest TikTok dancing trends. <laughs> when I was handed a toothbrush, I thought we'd be brushing their teeth, but you could hear my disappointment when I figured out the toothbrush was only a toy. So toothbrush, so... Oh, toothbrush, yeah. Oh. 
the toothbrush is used for one of the otters' favorite game, where we move the end quickly back and forth under their bed so they can chase it. It was so popular that Bob, who wasn't involved, wanted in. Bob? Bob. Luckily, Bob was soon allowed to join the fun. Just as I was starting to get to know Bob, the timer that matched the sticker on my hand ran out, and my time with the otters had come to an end. I mean, what can I say? I just played with otters for 45 minutes, and they're so soft and adorable and squeaky and cute. Ah, I love them. And with that, my Japanese animal cafe adventure has come to an end. But I hear they have a capybara one now, so I might have to come back. I'll see you next time.